Hey guys, it's Formal Street 4 here for tutorial number 3. Today, I will be teaching you about variables. It's kind of hard to start out with variables because there's so, there's so many things you can do with a variable. So, let's create a new project. Let's call it variables. Press OK or Enter. Let's wait for it to load. Okay. Let's just do. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the form design right now because all the variable work is in the actual code. So, basically, a typical easy programmer, basically a new person, will only really have to worry about one type of variable. And that is the string variable. Basically, it's exactly what it says it is. It's this stuff in here. That is a string right there. Now, the simple. Let's see. How can I word this to make it really simple? Um, variables are designed to be modified. Um, like we can set a variable as something, and later the program can go back and modify it. For for example, here, let me show you what I mean. Let's go back to the design. We're going to put. Whoa, where the hell did my button go? There it is. Let's put. Stupid IDE. Let's put a button right here, right? We have button one. We're going to place a second button. And let's put. One text box. Damn it. Okay. Now, mm, box, I mean button one. Let's get rid of all this white space. The first thing you need to do on the very first line of button one is do a message box. Now, do that for now. It'll show up as an error, but you'll see why I'm going to have that fixed create a little white space here and right here type in dim what dim means is basically defining whoops the variable that's what dim does it says this is your variable so dim and we can put a random name here like anything like let's say um, let's put dim text phrase as a string This says that text phrase is a string. Now, in message box, we're going to have it output text phrase. So, since there's nothing, like text phrase right now is a blank string. If we win the program as it is right now, it won't show anything up. It'll just show a blank message box. See? nothing is in here because the string is considered empty now button two is where we're going to do a little interesting stuff we're going to set text phrase is equal to whatever is in our text box the text in the text box so whatever we put in the text box the, when we click button two whatever is in here will become this variable right here. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say um, uh, we want the text string to be the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Simple text, everybody knows what that usually is. We hit button two, and there it is, and there is our new variable. As you can see, text phrase now is this, whoops is now what this is. Let's um let's add something else. Um uh button two fixes the whoops fixes the variable. And there you go. As you can see, using two buttons and a text box, we have modified the form I mean shoot the variable to what we need 
this is a perfect example of how you can remotely modify a variable. We can also, let's see, you can also have um, a certain function returned to the variable. We'll get to that later. For now, that's how you easily modify a variable.